Hello and welcome to Simple IELTS Solutions. My name's Simon. Thank you for joining me. This video is about an IELTS speaking part two question and model answer about helping a child. At the end of the answer, I'm going to talk about the vocabulary that I use in my answer. And so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Also, I've got a question for you. What's another word for child? Can you let me know in the comments below? When we're answering these IELTS speaking questions, it's a good idea to paraphrase the vocabulary from the question. So if we can use a different word sometimes instead of child, that's going to help us make a better answer. So without further ado, let's get started. IELTS speaking part two question and model answer. A time when you helped a child. So this is the question. Describe a time you helped a child. You should say when it was, how you helped him or her, why you helped him or her, and how you felt about it. Why don't you pause the video here, give yourself one minute to prepare an answer, and then try and answer yourself for two minutes and see how you get on. Now let's have a look at my answer. I've decided to talk about an incident that happened many years back. If I remember correctly, it was about 25 years ago when I was in high school and living in Thailand. My house was situated in a compound with 10 houses and a communal garden and swimming pool. It is incredibly hot in Thailand, so myself and many of the other residents used to go swimming and hang out by the pool in the afternoons and evenings. On one occasion, I was swimming lengths when I saw a kid who had jumped into the pool and was having trouble swimming. As I swam over to the toddler, I could clearly see that she couldn't swim and was struggling to keep her head above water. It was obvious that the little girl was going to drown if I didn't render some assistance, so I picked her up and took her over to the ladder. I walked up and onto the side of the pool and delivered her to her mother, who was unaware of the potential danger. The little girl was coughing and spluttering a bit and quite upset, but not really worse for wear. It's lucky I was there as I dread to think what could have happened if I hadn't been there to save her. Right, let's look at the vocabulary and the grammar. Grammar first, if I remember correctly. This is a conditional sentence. It's good to show lots of different types of sentences to the examiner and lots of different types of grammar. And a conditional sentence is an easy one for giving an example or talking about the past, if I remember correctly. Vocabulary-wise, we've got communal. It's an adjective. If something is communal, it means it's shared between people. Incredibly, it's an adverb. It's another word for very. Very is not very um, interesting and it's not going to get you big marks. Try using some adverbs instead of very. That will impress the examiner more. Residence. This is a a, so I said residents, that's plural, but it could be a resident. And that's a person who lives in a certain place. Hang out, phrasal verb. Good to show some phrasal verbs, show some less common and idiomatic language to the examiner to get that band seven or more. And to hang out is to spend time together. A toddler. 
This is a young child just starting to walk. Drown. It's a verb. To drown. And that's to die by breathing water. Coughing and spluttering. This is a collocation. And that means someone's coughing a lot. If they're coughing and spluttering, they're, they're coughing in a great deal. Worse for wear. It's an idiom. And it means you're in a bad way. I dread to think is a saying. It means you're worried about the situation. So there we have it. That's my model answer about helping a child. I hope you found some useful vocabulary in there. And I hope you answered the question. What's another name for a child? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and also share this with anyone you think it would be useful for. If you want to see more model answers about children, part three model answers about rewarding children, check out this video here. And if you want to see more part two model answers, check out this playlist here. Thank you very much for joining me. Great to see you and I'll see you here again soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.